Okay, let's finish off this page then, shall we, as it stands now. So we've got this far. It's looking pretty good. Um, and what comes next on our page? This is all in my text. So I've got just leave your name and email address for instant access. So I want that to go underneath this graphic. Uh, so that's going to go in there. Fantastic. Let's bold that up a little bit. Okay. Um, I mean, shall we turn this into red as well? Shall we make that red? Instant access. I don't know what that's going to look like, but we'll make that red. Oh, look, see? See, now that's showing. Again, guys, don't, I don't understand why some things work, some things don't. <laughs> Just um, that sometimes they do and sometimes they don't show. So so that's showing there as red, but this, as you see, isn't showing as that plum colour, which is just very strange. But as long as it shows on the main page, then that is the main thing, isn't it? Now, underneath here, what I want to do is put my opt-in form. My opt-in form is all in HTML code. So I'm going to put that line of X's in here, yeah, um, because we don't want to be flipping between visual and HTML, do we? We want to keep on this page for now. So there goes my line of X's again. And then at the bottom of the page, I want my image. Okay, so what do I do? What do I do now? I go back up to this box here, okay, to add an image. And I click on that little box there. I'm going to go over to my gallery because we've already uploaded the images. And here I want my welcome message. So I'm going to click show. This is kind of like my footer, just welcome to the, to the Social Networking Academy. And I'm going to click none on link because I don't want it to link to anywhere. OK, I'm going to go full size because it's 400 pixels wide. So it's just slightly smaller than my header, which is ideal. So I want to click on full size and then insert into post. And when we go down, there is my um, image. OK, so there is our page. Let's just save the draft of that. And then let's go over to here and refresh. All right, so there's our page, okay? So now what we want to do is go into where these X's are and replace those with the HTML code, okay? There's a little bit of spacing that we need to do here as well between graphics and things, isn't there? But we'll get back to that. So now we've done our main page, okay? What I want to do is now click on HTML, okay? Go over here and click on HTML. And then you can see the X's really, really clearly. So here is our embed code from our YouTube video. Now, if you're thinking, Joe, I have no idea how I get an embed code from a YouTube video, then what I'll do is on the um, next video, I'll quickly run through where you go and find that. OK, but for now, I'm just copying that embed code and I'm putting it in here where all the X's are. So that's that code in there. Then here is my opt-in form code. Now, once again, if you guys are thinking, Joe, I don't even know what an opt-in form is, then um, there's going to be another video in this series. You'll see it now within the series to, uh, with a little review of exactly what an autoresponder is, how it works and why you need one and how you would go about getting this code. OK, but for now, we're just going to grab this code and I'm going to go over here to these X's. And I'm going to paste it where those X's are. OK, so that is all my code now in. And I'm going to save the draft. And drum roll. We're going to go over here and refresh the page. And keep our fingers crossed that that has all worked. Ba-boom! There is our video. Learn how to create a website on Facebook. Watch this video now. There's our YouTube video. Grab our step-by-step -step training. There's a graphic. Leave us your name and email address and there is our opt-in form. OK, so that is the basics of our page. OK, now let's just talk about this background colour because it all looks a little bit odd, doesn't it? If we go back to editing our page and over here down the left under appearance, you'll see background. OK, so if you click on background, OK, under here you can select a colour. So you can literally decide to have your background, whatever colour you want it to be, by moving around all of these here. So, for instance, if we went with that, look, a light kind of...
purpley cover and said save changes and then went back to our welcome page and refreshed there we go it's kind of a light purpley color now because this graphic is on a white background and it's not um, on a transparent background which would allow the color to shine through then it does look a bit odd that you've kind of got this white box there um, so what we should do is really turn it back to white but what I want to do is show you what the background looks like on the Facebook page so actually for now we're going to leave that as it is even though it doesn't look 100% okay alright we're gonna leave that as it is so that's our sort of basic page created okay and what we're now going to do is we're going to go and integrate this with Facebook so we're now going to take this web page and I'm going to show you um, the steps that we need to take in order to get this live on your Facebook page now this is obviously quite a basic page um, and I am going to come back after we've integrated and got it uploaded on Facebook I am going to come back and show you how to create a couple of other pages to link with this one so you've pretty much got a website that you can upload within Facebook. If you are already um, pretty au fait with WordPress then of course you can make your page a lot funkier than this. Um, if you are a beginner, a complete beginner on WordPress, then I have done a complete course on how to use WordPress and how to really get your pages very, very funky all within the Social Networking Academy site. So for now, guys, let's stop this video and let's start the integration with Facebook. So I will see you on the next video.